Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17. We're currently on the fifth beta of iOS 17. Of course, we have the third public beta of iOS 17 also released and we're getting very, very close to the final release of iOS 17 to the public. As you probably know, the current iOS 17 beta 5 has a build number which ends with a D which means that we only are three betas away from the release of the RC version. And then of course, a week later, the public version of iOS 17, which will be really, really exciting. But in this video, we're going to talk more about the current update of iOS 17, and that is iOS 17 beta five. And we have quite a lot of new features and changes that we have been able to discover on this update. So let's go ahead and talk about those. And then we're going to talk about also some really, really important stuff regarding iOS 17. So first of all, you know, the Shazam on iOS 17 has a new animation right here on the dynamic island. But what's really cool is that it also has like an animation here, a live activity on the lock screen. So if we try to use Shazam from there, you can see it shows listening there and that like a wave right there, which is really cool. And then we get the pop up with that animation the same as on the dynamic island here of course once it recognizes the song we're looking for and this is actually really really cool of course this will stay here for as long as you don't actually dismiss it and we have also some changes on the shortcuts app especially on the automation section so if you have an automation here to turn on an alarm that you have previously turned off so let's say we have an alarm for 10 a.m. and we turn it off if you have set up an automation to actually turn on that alarm automatically now ios will actually notify you that that alarm has been turned on automatically by the automation of course so it doesn't go off without you knowing it or without giving you the chance to actually turn it off another change here under the automation section when you create an automation and maybe you want to edit that automation if you tap on the action here now it shows you a list of actions and it will also highlight the action that you have actually chosen already for that automation before you try to actually edit that so you don't have to actually just search for that you can just take a look here and you can see which automation which action you're using for that automation a minor change here under the accessibility settings we have a new glyph icon here for voice control now voice control of course has been added to ios a long time ago and it had the exact same icon for the last few years and now we have a brand new icon for voice control with ios 17 beta 5 apple has finally made some really really important and very much needed improvements to the live voicemail feature now this is a great feature to have but it actually was really really confusing now with ios 17 beta 5 we have a big change here you can see what we're getting now the prompt will get a total makeover with beta 5 once you update and it's less confusing so you will basically receive the call and you will start seeing right here the text what that other person is talking and what you can do here is tr actually decide to just receive the call or just send a message or if someone you don't know actually does this calls you and is leaving you a voicemail you will actually have the option here to just block that person totally with iOS 17 beta 5 we also got a change on one of the biggest features of iOS 17 name drop so name drop and airdrop in general will now have a new animation as well as a new sound once you try to send or receive something so if we just use this you can see there a new animation as well as of course a new sound now another thing i want to just point here is that if you're trying to just use the this like name drop feature on ios and you get to this screen if you don't want to share or receive only what you can do here is just swipe up to dismiss this this is something you might know is actually kind of confusing because you're left with just two buttons there and doesn't give you an option to actually get out so you just have to swipe up and you're good to go with ios 17 beta 5 you will also now get a new prompt here to share audio while connected to your car so if you're using carplay connected to your car with your iphone now it shows you share audio as a prompt to basically give you that option another change here on the stocks widget so the stocks widget now works as it should 
when you tap on one of the stocks, it will actually take you right to that stock and not just open the app. And another very small change here, the feature that won't let you bring your iPhone close to your eyes with of course screen control now has like a wording change here. Previously it said iPhone is way too close. Now it says iPhone may be too close to your face. So just a wording change here for this feature. As I said on the first initial video that I did on iOS 17 beta 5, performance on iOS 17 beta 5 is the best that I have gotten with this iPhone. So I've used Geekbench, I've done score tests on pretty much every iOS software that was able to be installed on this device and I never got a 7000 multi-core score. I got it here with iPhone 14 Pro Max on iOS 17 beta 5 which is an amazing result. And we also have quite a good result here on the single core score. So performance wise, this is a great, great update. Even using it on daily basis, you can notice that it's very, very stable and it works really smooth. Now, when it comes to battery, the last couple of betas, we have seen some improvements, but with this beta, I'm actually not seeing any improvements when it comes to battery life. Now it might be a bit early, we might have to wait like a couple of days more to see the real results when it comes to battery life, but it's not the greatest ever. So you can see right here the last three days, so with about, let's say like 80 to 85% battery, we got six hours, four, 54 minutes. And then here we have with about like 90% battery, six hours and 38 minutes. While today we have with about 40% battery, three hours and 55, 51 minutes, which is a bit better than the previous days, but still it's not that great when it comes to battery life. Of course, compared to the other betas that actually had quite a lot of improvements from beta to beta. But again, this update kind of will seal things for iOS 17. So we just saw like a few minor changes, not any big features added with this update. So of course, from now on, Apple is looking to work more towards the stability and of course, battery life as we're getting very, very close to the release of iOS 17 to the public. Now, when talking about next releases regarding iOS 17, we kind of have a schedule now based on the reports regarding the new event for the new iPhone 15. We know that it's probably 99% sure that the event will be held on September 12th, right here on a Tuesday. And based on that, and based on the last beta of iOS 17, its build number, we can actually have here qu quite like an, a nice, view of what will happen in the next few days. So first of all, we're currently on beta five. I wouldn't expect a beta the next week, the week after on the 22nd or 23rd, I would expect beta six, while beta seven, most likely here on the 29th or the 30th of August. And then in September, beta eight, right here on the fifth or the, the sixth of September. And then on the 12th, after the event, after the iPhone 15 event, expect to get the RC version of iOS 17, which will of course be the exact same version as the one that Apple will release to the public, which will be released, in my opinion, most likely on the 18th of September. It will be 18th or 19th, one of these days, most likely a Monday, it will be the 18th. So this is when we get this update released to the public with of course all the new features and changes which again should be really really exciting so that's about it for this video guys the latest ios 17 beta brings a few very very needed changes to the big features like the voicemail which is of course a great feature that apple has added to ios 17 but it was very confusing initially so this will make it way way better and much easier for users to actually use it and understand what they're doing. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.